Skip, I got to start with you. What is the <sighs> biggest reason the Cowboys lost? First of all, bottom line, nobody is going to beat Tom Brady in that stadium, Gillette Stadium, in a game-long driving rain with wind gusting to 30 miles an hour and temperatures dropping into the mid-30s. That is Tom Brady weather. And for uh, the longest time, it did not look like Dak Prescott weather because it took him all the way to nearly halftime to figure out, oh, gee, I've never been in weather like this before, this cold and this wet. Maybe I should try a glove on my throwing hand. Oh, yeah. But he did put one on. And in the second half, believe it or not, my quarterback, Dak Prescott, started to look like the guy who came in leading the whole league in passing. My quarterback started to literally get a grip on the game and how to go at the New England defense. And would you believe that in the fourth quarter, when he finally did have the win behind him, my quarterback threw for 110 yards in the fourth quarter. That's pretty, that's, that's pretty great against yeah, the Yeah, for the whole game. Oh, but 110 in the fourth quarter with the wind. I'd say that's pretty great against the best defense in pro football in their house. Mm. And with 233 left, Dak Prescott got the ball back, albeit backed all the way up to his eight-yard line. But here he came again, just like he came against Jenny's Vikings. Remember that night oh, when yeah. he started the six-yard line? And he went all the way to the Vikings' 11-yard line. And I'm going to remind everybody, my quarterback over his first three years in this league led the National Football League in game-winning drives. So here he came. Right out of the box, he hits Randall Cobb for 18 yards. Another big play to Randall Cobb. And then on second down, he hit Jason Witten for what should have been 10 or 12-yard gain. And what did he do, Mr. Sharp, Hall know. of Fame tight end? I don't know. He dropped it! Jason Witten dropped another ball. That yeah. could have been huge, just a momentum builder, but he dropped it. But did Dak give up? Nope. Here he came right back again with another big throw to Gallup for nine more yards. Now it's third and one. And what did he do, Mr. Sharp? He hit his man, Zeke, with a little three-yard out. That was a slick little pass for a first down. Oh, but wait, I see on my screen on Fox, I see the yellow flag. Oh. What? Flag for what? Wait, wait. Tripping? What do you mean, tripping? Let me see the replay. Let me see it again. Let me see another replay because it's the biggest phantom call I've ever seen. It's not even remotely tripping to the point that I started to wonder if maybe one of Belichick's many sons, he's got a whole bunch of sons working in the organization, somehow masqueraded as a referee and don't threw the phantom yeah, flag. Don't do I, yeah, I don't know. Don't do Have you ever seen a worse call? Uh. Have you ever seen a, a more mind-blowing, head-scratching, that's not tripping call? Dante Hightower is just blowing through the middle of the line, and Travis Redrick's backing up, trying to just push him into the ground mm -hmm. and then kind of lay on top of him. It's not tripping. It is an egregious, momentum-crushing penalty called in the middle of what felt like a pretty special drive. To your point, Skip, what this tells me, because they got two of those calls, that the uh, Patriots staff brought this to the officials' attention. It's highly possible, because in 190 games so Thank far you. this year, Thank you. there had been seven of those Thank trippings you. called. And in this game, they called two, one on Tyron Smith, in the late in the first quarter, right. and I couldn't see that one either. Right. Mm. They ran a game, and he got caught off balance, and his leg got up in the air. Strip, tripping is an intentional act. He didn't intentionally try to chip the guy. He got caught off balance when they ran the stunt. Did, did he lift his leg up no. to, to stop the momentum of no. someone that had beaten him? No, no he, did he did not. Did he trip Dante? No, they, he just fell forward. Right. I, I'm sorry. It's such a bad call, and it's such a momentum breaker at that point. But did Dak give up? No, he did not. So it gets to be fourth and 11, and Dak steps into the best throw of the night to me. Best throw he made to, oh, wait, who's that guy? Oh, yeah, he's number 19. Amari Cooper at that point had no catches. And guess what, boys and girls? He still has no catches for the whole game. Uh, yeah. Was this going to be a difficult catch? Well, I remind you, coming into the game, pro football focus, 
graded Amari Cooper as the number one wide receiver in all of pro football. Live. And, uh, after last night, I'm going to grade Stephon Gilmore as by far the best shutdown corner in all of <laughs> pro football because he absolutely bullied Amari Cooper. He made him look soft. He made him say no moss, what? as in Roberto Duran, no moss. I give up. There's even one series late in the first half. Amari just took himself out of the game and went and stood on the sideline because he said, I just can't get open against this guy. Cuffs. Whoa. Right. Put the Gilmore cuffs came. on him. That's hard, but he didn't just put, put his now. cuffs on him physically. He put them on him mentally, <laughs> psychologically, yeah. emotionally. Yeah. Just took him out of the game. So was this a tough catch to make on 4th and 11? Yes. Yeah, it was a difficult catch. Very. But if you're graded number one by pro football focus, can you make that? Yes, you can make that catch. If by his degree of difficulty, it is not that hard. Again, ball's wet, I get all that. But at some point, you just got to make a play. If you're that guy, you make that play. Well, you should ask that of your quarterback. Because your, your quarterback made that throw. No, that was a hell of a oh, throw. Oh, so we're going oh. to one, we're gonna come down, make it come down to one throw. Well, so, yeah, for That, that would have set him up in real business. Mm, okay. But instead, you know the rest of the story. I do, I do, and I do. And I'm left with yet another so close, so far away game. And my team has fallen to six and five. And I'm not going to take a moral victory over this, but I will tell you this. The team that I watched play last night would have beaten the New England Patriots on a dry night. Oh, they would have beaten Tom Brady and company on a dry night. Skip, you do know, I don't know if you remember this, but about, about, 10, about 13 years ago, maybe 14 years, yeah, 13 years ago, the Super Bowl was played in Miami mm. between the Indianapolis Colts and the Chicago Bears. And a funny thing happened during the entire game, Jenny. It rained. Mm -hmm. So there's a possibility mm -hmm. that if you make it that far, there's also a possibility. Guess what, Skip? You might have to go to Green Bay. What is the weather like in Green Bay in January? Not okay, fun. what's well, the weather? it's what? not going to rain, I can tell you that. Oh, so it might snow or be yep. cold. You could sleep. How'd yep. you do? Snow is much easier to throw in than I, rain. First of all, first of all. And then what about San Francisco? Does it ever rain in Northern California? I'm not sure, Skip. I, I mean, you spent a little time up there. Does it uh, rain in Southern California? It's, it's not that often that it does, but go ahead. The fact of the matter, hold on. I want to take these things because you said mm -hmm. pro football focus said that Amari Cooper is the number one rated receiver. Pro football focus also said that uh, number one in QBR is Dak Prescott. Mm -hmm. number well, one they didn't say that. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Not just QBR. No, wait, wait. Okay, no. he was. Yep. Tell the people at home what he is now. He's third. What? Barely oh. third. Oh, well, well, yep. no, no, barely. barely. I'm just trying to figure out how do you go into the game number one and you leave number three. Mm -hmm. But that's neither here nor there. We'll get that a little later. Well, he had a bad, it's, it's hard to throw in the wet whoa. wind. Hold on. Was Tom Brady playing on the phone booth? He's made for this. He was born to play in this. He owns this these weather conditions. You know it and I know yeah. it. He's been doing this for 20 he does years. Thrive in this Skip. You're right. When you were talking, I didn't interrupt you. I was like, oh, go ahead. You just it. asked me a question. I just asked. You said, what's what is he in QBR? And I just told you. Okay. Yeah. But I don't need you to expand yeah. upon that. Okay. It's my turn now. Yeah. Okay, yards per attempt. Passing yards per game. And that's what he gave me. Again, meaningless ball game, your team, your quarterback thrives mm. beating Washington, beating the Dolphins, beating the Giants twice. But when a team with a winning record, mm -hmm. what's, what's their record, Skip? Mm -hmm. Zero for what, Z, whatever, whatever. Well, Skip, this you, is the you, you picked them to win. Whoa, 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 I don't whoa, whoa, know. Whoa, I didn't pick them. I whoa, picked whoa, New whoa, England. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh time out. Yep. I, I, I'm not going to let you do semantics mm -hmm. like you picked them to that's win. That's not semantics. Hold that's a you, fact. Hold on. If that's the Cold, case, hard fact. Okay, okay. I picked them to win. Mm, yep. So why the hell are you so upset? Your team won. Mm. You picked the Patriots, and you give me all the reasons why the Cowboys lost. Mm. Why are you doing that? Mm. Because they hurt you, and mm. you're trying to shift the narrative. But I won't let you. I'm not going to let you, Skip Bayless, because you know what? You had every opportunity. A I kept... tripping penalty is every opportunity? Whoa, 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 you whoa, keep whoa, whoa. Me, My guy was about to get on the... Hold on, get on, by the what? It felt special. Skip, they punted the ball 11 times. Mm. Now, this is the second time. Second time in 11 weeks that that defense has given up 10 or fewer points in your guy. Mm. Now, I don't want any more articles. I don't want Todd Archer. I don't want Bill Barnwell. I don't mm. want Clarence Hill Jr. to write another article about mm. Dak Prescott because mm. in meaningless ball games, mm. he's lighting it up. And mm. when it comes to the Vikings, when it came to yesterday. Whoa, 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 time out. Was the Eagles a meaningless game? Whoa, oh, it's not your turn. I'm going to let you, mm. I'm going I'm, I'm to I'm shoot it you back to you. You love Carson I'm going to shoot Eagles. it back to you. Oh. But guess what? 
I, I found a guy yesterday played just as bad as walking to him. And his name was Dak Prescott. Mm. And he was a little further north mm. than what walking to him was playing. Was it raining in Philadelphia? Whoa. Nope. What was the weather? It looked nice. The wind was blowing about 40, about 30. It was of... not. It was not. Oh, so, Sorry. So it was ideal conditions. It was an ideal okay, conditions. Okay, then. Okay, then. Okay, 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 then. Okay. okay. Anyway, hold on. If you play football, what the hell you think this is a gymnasium? Mm. Every game. <laughs> Might be rain, wind, snow, rain, sleet, mm -hmm. sunshine, but to play outdoors. So I don't do it. Skip, I told you I had to get out of the excuse making business mm. because people get, I, they, they didn't want to buy them anymore. Mm. They say, if you play pro sports, I'm tired of all these excuses, Shannon. So I said, okay, mm. I got doves and nails. Mm. And guess who came? Oh, they came to see me. I told you, I had a little good old chowder. Had a little good old child of Air Force Dak Prescott, Skip Bayless. So now, up. wait, I got to get this straight. So now your restaurant s serves only losers. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's a new thing. Okay. Look, I got two. I got two areas. I got a little small little storefront. I only got like fifteen hundred square feet. Do you know what property costs like in, in, in this area yeah. to get a big old restaurant? So I got a little. And that's one, why it's moved about four times. Right? <laughs> yeah, pop up shop. And so you know, I got a patio because you can, yeah. everybody got to have a patio. Yeah. You in L.A. Yeah. But anyway, I had this old pop up shop that serves chowder. Mm -hmm. Skip Bayless, at some point in time, you're going to realize everybody keeps telling you about Dak, but if Dak is what you said he is, mm -hmm. the weather should not be an issue. I told you, this game was tailor-made for old Zeke Elliott, mm -hmm. but y'all didn't want to do it. Oh, no, why you running Zeke? Fred, I, Jerry, stop it! That's what you came out here and said last week. You remember? You don't want to run it on first down. Mm -hmm. But if you put the ball in 21's hand mm -hmm. yesterday, he'd have brought you home. Mm -hmm. But you put it in four hands, and mm -hmm. now you're going back with the tail between mm -hmm. your legs, and now mm -hmm. your owner is talking quick, crazy again. Quick point of order. Uh, I know you don't listen to the sound. I out, do but not. The great Joe Buck and the great Troy Aikman made a point during the Fox telecast that in speaking with Belichick the day before, they got the feeling that Belichick was far more concerned about stopping the pass than he was about stopping the run, that he seemed unconcerned about stopping Zeke Elliott because everybody has been stopping Zeke Elliott. I will give you, he ran harder and better yesterday than I have seen him all we'll feed year him. long. We'll feed him, Skip. Oh. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.